All right, in this last video, we're going to actually go ahead and get the horizontal range of the object. Now, in the x direction, we have that the uh, position is given by v naught x times t plus the initial position we start at. I'm assuming everything's unknown until we get the appropriate letters. So, um, we want to get the range, which is r. And that's going to equal, now v naught x, we did from vector components, is v naught times the cosine of theta. And for t, I'm going to actually substitute this formula here for time. So we're going to get 2 v naught sine theta all over g plus, I start at an initial position of 0. So it actually turns out the range is given by the formula r equals v naught squared, and I'm going to gather some terms together, 2 sine theta cosine theta all over g. And it turns out that this particular formula can actually be reduced using a trig identity, and we get our range actually as the range is equal to, when we put in our numbers, v naught squared sine of 2 theta over g. And so this is the formula for the hang time, the height, and the range for an object fired. And so we can actually now solve the original problem by putting in the numbers directly into these formulas. And so that's kind of the purpose of these formulas. And the purpose of this exercise overall is to get you used to using only variables, which is a skill that we do all the time in AP Physics.